here in Nicaragua, in fact, we think of Seiko, Aviso, and Ligero, which you all know. The Dominican Republic's a little different. The Lado, Seiko, and Ligero. But here, I used to look at tobacco. We all did. Everybody looked at tobacco on color for years. It wasn't texture. Now, things really had changed. It was, you know, it was the Cubans and followed by Nestor Placencia. And things have changed so much in terms of thinking about texture of tobacco that when people talk about it, I go to events, I go to places, I listen to people, and they talk about despaio or taking your tobacco and saying, oh, well, we're selecting it for this, that, or the next thing. But really what you're doing right there is almost the key to everything. It's the key to everything that you're doing revolves around the texture of the tobacco. Your seed origin, where you grow it, your irrigation, your... your uh, fertilizers, your philosophies on growing tobacco, all that is important every step of the way. I, I hope we'll cover all of it or a lot of it on the trip. But I think the thing that's going to be uh, resonating to you by the end of the tour, George, I don't know. 